Hey guys, this is Delphine with the Culture Court Channel. This week's video is going to be kind of short since I have so much to do for school, which doesn't leave me very much time to make videos. I'll be giving you some names of some Japanese radio shows that I listen to, and just like with most of the variety shows that I talked about, these are all Arashi related. Radio shows are really great for Japanese study, especially if you can get them as a sound file and put them on your iPod or other music listening device. It's very convenient that way, you can listen to it whenever you want, you don't have to be watching something in order to follow along, and most of the time it's just people talking, so it's really good listening practice. Almost every Arashi member has their own radio show, and while I don't really keep up with them too much, I still listen to them every once in a while and I like them a lot. First up is Bass Storm, which features Nino, and he's usually talking with someone else and they have a lot of different corners on the show. Throughout the show, they'll play a few songs, which are usually Arashi songs, and the rest of the time they just talk. As much as I love Nino, the only thing about this one is that it can be kind of hard to understand. The whole show is pretty high paced and he talks kind of fast and some of the times I don't even know what he's talking about. But it's still entertaining and it's still worth a listen to see if you like it. Next is June Style, which is June Show. And he does this one solo, which gives the whole thing a very different feel. It's a lot less of that high energy and it's actually kind of relaxing. A lot of what June does is he reads letters from fans who ask him questions or tell him stories based on a theme that he gives gives out, stuff like that. He also plays music, but a lot of it is actually not Arashi's songs, so that way you can discover new Japanese artists, and he even sometimes plays American music. The whole show is generally pretty easygoing and soothing if you want to listen to something a little more laid back. The last show I listened to is Rekomen Arashi Remix, which is Aiba's show. This is by far my favorite radio show. It's Aiba and one other person who, by the way, I'm pretty sure is the guy who does the announcer voice on VS Arashi, and they sound like they just have so much fun recording this. I think Aiba is easiest to understand from a Japanese learning standpoint, and they say a lot of funny stuff. And even if you don't understand what they're saying, the fact that they're being so silly and always laughing is really contagious and fun to listen to. They also play music, almost all Arashi songs on this one and then they have lots of corners where they answer questions from the fans or tell stories or play silly games. It's a lot of fun so go listen to it. I know that Ono also has a radio show called Arashi Discovery and I have listened to a couple of the episodes but I kind of couldn't stand it. While the other shows are weekly and last about half an hour, this one is just quick 10 minute segments that they air Monday through Friday and I'm pretty sure that Ono's not even in the studio live for them. From what I can tell of the stuff I have listened to, it's a lot of fans calling in and then they play a sort of remix version of Ono's voice yelling stuff. Like someone would call in all excited because it's their birthday and then Ono would wish them happy birthday. But like I said, I think it's all pre-recorded and I don't know, it's just weird and I thought it was really annoying. Maybe I just didn't give it enough of a chance, but yeah, I wish that Ono had a more traditional radio show because then I would totally listen to it. So there you go, just another few ideas for some Japanese listening practice. If you listen to any of Arashi's shows, tell me what you think and let me know about any other Japanese radio shows that you listen to. Thanks for watching and see you guys next week.